gives us something to do, that is something we should do. That's our work. Or, but he doesn't say we work for anything. He said believe for what you need. Mm -hmm. And from him. I'm talking about spiritually. Mm -hmm. But he also says in, in Proverbs 3, 5, Lean not on your own misunderstanding, but lean unto me. And seek me first. And all these things will be added unto you. Man, how could you go wrong there? He said, if you seek me, everything you need will be added unto you. Don't put your, don't put your material things first. Put Jesus first. Like he said, seek me first. All these other things will be added unto you. And you know, the saddest thing about this whole thing is we have, all of us have relatives that maybe don't know Jesus, start saved and born again. And it breaks your heart when you know this because when Jesus comes, he's coming and he's coming soon. They'll be left. And that won't be a thing we can do about it. But by our faith, while we're here, before Jesus comes, mm -hmm. we better pray him in. And I mean, don't miss a lick, because if, um, if Jesus comes, they're, they're, they're left. That's all there is to it. God showed me. It's like a big ravine. And I was over here. Somebody else was over here, and I couldn't help them. I couldn't get to them. Just imagine that that's one of your kids, or your grandkids, or your great-grandkids over here. Oh. I pray every day for all my grandkids, great-grandkids. But you're not going to see that happen to them, because the Lord's going to take them. But if they're not ready, you're not going to see that. I know. You know it. Now you know it. Yeah. At that time, you know because you're going to be gone. Yeah, I feel his wife wet away all our tears. But when we get to heaven, they won't be there. We might be looking for him, but they won't be there. He said we'll know each other in heaven. And I want to find all my kids in heaven, all my great-grandkids and all my kids. And, and the only way I know if, if this is possible mm -hmm. is to pray for them now. Mm -hmm. Don't wait. So anybody that's got any lost people, you better start praying and believing. Uh, we're going to hear this thing. You do what you can, and I'll do the rest. Mm -hmm. Is that in the Bible? Uh-uh. Yeah. I didn't know. That's where I'm no. asking. Oh, I've never seen it. Uh-huh. That's where I got that from. I heard that from people. He said, mm -hmm. he said yeah. lean on me. You can't just lay back and say, okay, God, you do it all. No. No, we have to read our Bible. That's what he wants us to do. Well, that's the spiritual part of it. Yeah, but you, that's right. We don't need nothing but the spiritual part. You're not in the world. Well, I have never needed it, but I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> We're not in the world. We're in the spiritual world. Yeah. And we don't need nothing but him. So we don't, I don't know how to explain it, but we need to know that we can believe Him, we can have faith for Him to, to save our loved ones and to bring them out of whatever they're into. And because I'm telling you, I had two boys on drugs that's not on drugs now. They're an alcoholic was brought out of alcohol. So God is able. Yeah, and amen. I know you have testimony God too, is able. Well, God has brought relatives and kids out of things that they was into. And uh, so, you it's know, like, it's, it's possible. It's like my, my pastor, Michael, says it in a way, to what, almost to what Miss Doris is saying. You bring in the church and let the Holy Spirit do the rest. And the Bible says, you. He says, the Bible says, you catch the, the Bible says, you catch the fish and I'll clean them. Yeah. And where is that at in the Bible? I don't know, but I know I've seen it in this uh, tidbit thing. He said, you catch the fish yeah. and I'll clean them. Like you know, he'll clean them up like he wants them to be. Mm -hmm. And you know, we can't beat people over the head. We can't make them do nothing. You just have to love them like they are. Pray for them in every situation they're in. 
Now we have to agree together. Now this is in Matthew 19. <laughs> Matthew 19, 19. Now let me say this. Have you ever heard it said, be careful who you let pray for you? Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard it said, the two or more gather together pray? Okay, why do they have, what, what do the two have to be in? Agreement. 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 Faith works. By our faith, it's going to work. Me and you agreed on this, you know. That's what it means. It says, again, I say to you that any two of you agree on earth about anything. You may 19, 19. I mean, Matthew 18, I'm sorry. Matthew 18, 19. I'm sorry. I get so wound up, I forget what I'm doing. That's <laughs> all right. Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth about anything that they may ask, it shall be done for them by my Father, which is in heaven. For, where two or three gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and I always fear if I'm praying to Jesus, that's two of us. That's me and him. Mm -hmm. So there's two. Yeah. So I'm I'm sure that's right. What are you saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Right. You agree. Right. <laughs> okay. Where is our faith? Second Corinthians. I'm gonna challenge you this week. This takes something. It's a good subject. I'm glad you picked it. Uh, you know what? Yeah. You can ask Matt. It took me till Friday to decide what I was going to do. <laughs> it did. <laughs> I, I could not decide. I kept telling Matt, I've got to get a lesson together. I've got to do something. Mm -hmm. I can't know what to do. <laughs> Yesterday, I said, God, help me. <laughs> and, and it brought it to me about faith. I think we all need need this lesson. Sure. We all need our to, our toes stepped on. <laughs> Second Corinthians thirteen chapter third verse. Since you are speaking for proof of the Christ who speaks in me, and who is not weak toward you, but mighty in you, that's the Spirit. For indeed he was crucified because of weakness, yet he lives because of the power of God. Jesus lives because of the power of God. We also are weak in him, yet we will live with him because of the power of God directed towards you. In other words, when we live in him, we got power. Mm -hmm. Lack of nothing, we got power in him. Mm -hmm. When we live in Jesus. Man. This thing. He's got power over the old earth. He does. His, his word speaks. But you know, nowadays people think, have you ever noticed people act like God's dead? God don't know nothing. They forget about him or they think he's dead. But I got news for him. God ain't dead. No, he's alive. And he's alive. And then he's going to show him. Mm -hmm. Jesus is alive. 